So I have one more thing I want to show you this week. Um, I want to show you how nulls are handled in SQL. And uh, unfortunately, the names database doesn't have any nulls. It's designed not to. So I'm going to start by switching over to the IMDB database. And that's the Internet Movie Database, an extract of it. Um, and I'm going to start by selecting top 50 star from name basics. So there's a name basics table which has information about people. Oh, and I have to execute that use IMDB statement as well to switch. Um, and you'll notice that uh, there's a death year column which has some null values in it. Pretty clearly this means the actor has not died, at least as of when the extract was made. So for actors where a death year is specified, or this also includes producers, directors, and so on, but for people where a death year is specified, you know the year of death, um, and uh, for ones where no death year is specified, the person was still alive at least when the dump was made. Um, so how can you write some queries on that? So um, the first thing to know is that any query that compares a value to null is going to return false with two specific exceptions. So if I say, for example, where death year is equal to null, this will not do what I want. So let's execute it. And actually, the where has to be after the from, not before the from. And it's still not going to do what I want. So let's execute it. And you see, I don't get anything back. That's because um, null in death year does not equal null. Null is not a comparable value. Any comparison you make with null is going to return false. And this will not return any values. Um, on the other hand, death year not equal null also doesn't return any values. So not only is death year not equal to null, but death year is not not equal to null. So this is a complete non-starter if you want to do comparisons with null. If you want to do comparisons and retrieve values where there's null in this column, you have to use a special operator is null. You can't use equal actually where death year is null. You can't use equal or not equal. You have to use is null, like so. So this is all of the actors or the first 50 of them where death year is null. You can also say is not null. So this is going to be 50 actors who are dead. And there they are. Now, of course, you can combine this with other expressions as you normally would. So for example, um, let's find 50 people who were born before, up to 50 people who were born before 1900, who at least according to the movie database are still alive. So we're going to say death year is not null, death year is null, and birth, birth year less than 1900. So we actually get a bunch of results coming back. These people are almost certainly dead. But Internet Movie Database doesn't know that. So this points to one of the problems that you're going to see in real databases all the time. Null can mean a value is missing. It can mean it doesn't apply. It can just mean that we don't know. And uh, the exact meaning for a particular database is going to vary depending on what the business rules and business logic are around the database. So important part is if you want to do a comparison with null, you have to use either is null or is not null. Um, and then this clause is just like any other comparison um, and can be combined using and, or, and not.